Hello guys, Chi Chi Toxic here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the best way to boost your FPS in Fortnite Season 3. If you've been experiencing FPS drops and FPS stutters in Fortnite Season 3, I will be showing you how to fix it. Okay guys, but before we get into the video, I'd just like to say that if I do help you out in this video, please drop a like as that would really help me out and if you like my videos and if you would like to know exactly how to fix any glitches or bugs in Fortnite, please consider subscribing to my channel as that would make me really happy. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, if you're not new to my channel, you already know what the first step's gonna be. But if you don't know, go into your search bar, type restore, once this creative restore point shows up, just click on that. Click on your drive with your windows installed on. Mine is my SSD. So I'm going to click create. Then I'm going to type in today's date. Once you've typed it in, just click create. As you can see, this notification popped up and you can just click close. Okay guys, if you don't know what the restore point does is if you don't like these settings, you can easily go back to your old settings. But once you guys have done this, you can just close out of that and we can get on to the next step. So guys, this next step is for NVIDIA users only, so if you are an AMD user, you can just skip to this time. But if you are a NVIDIA user, just watch this step. Okay guys, so you just want to click on your desktop, click on the video control panel, then click manage 3D settings. You want to scroll down here until you see power management mode. Just click on this. Then you want to click prefer maximum performance. Once you've done that, there should be a little button here saying apply. Just apply it and close it out. Okay guys, this next step is pretty simple. But all you want to do is press the Windows key and R at the same time. Then this little window should pop up. And in this window, you want to type prefetch. Then click OK. And if this window pops up, just click continue. After you've clicked continue, all of these files should pop up. Once they have, you just want to select all of them and delete them. If something like this opens up, just click skip on that. But if you guys don't know what this folder is, this folder is one of the places your applications put its junk. So you don't need to worry if you delete it. Once you guys have done that, you can just close out of that and we can get into the next step. So the step's going to be also very simple. All you need to do is click on your Windows bar, type percent, temp, percent. This folder should pop up. Just click on that. And this window should pop up. All you want to do is select all of this and delete it. As you can see, my Discord is open. So it's going to tell me that I can't delete this. So I'm just going to click skip. Same here, skip. And one more time, skip. As you can see, it's all deleted. Once you guys have done that, you can just close it out. Okay guys, for the next step is you want to go back and see your window search bar and search up disk cleaner. Then once disk cleanup has opened, just click on it and click on the drive with your Fortnite located on. Mine is my SSD, so I'm going to click on that and Click OK. All of this stuff should pop up. Just make sure all of these are ticked, like downloads, recycle pin, temporary files. Just don't click this Windows, DirectX, and delivery optimization. You don't need to worry about them. Then click OK. But as you guys can see, I'm going to save 10 gigabytes. But all you want to do is click delete files. And it should close automatically. Okay, guys, so this next step is going to be pretty simple. But all you want to do is open up your taskbar right click on the open area like this here click on task manager this should open up then click on startup this tab right here then all of these apps here should be enabled but what you want to do is disable the apps that you don't want to open immediately as your pc boots up if you have all of them enabled this should make your pc perform much less than it should actually perform so, I've already gone ahead and disabled all of the apps that I don't want to start up immediately. But if you don't know what any of these files are, like Real Attack, HD Auto Universal, and things like that, 
just keep them enabled, as you don't want to mess up your PC. But once you've disabled all the apps that you know, and you want them disabled, just close out of it. Okay guys, this next step is going to be pretty simple. You're going to want to update your graphics card. I have a NVIDIA graphics card, so I'm going to be showing you how to update your NVIDIA graphics card. So, first thing you want to do is you want to open up your taskbar and search for GeForce Experience. Just to open that up. Once you've opened it up, you're going to, going to click on Drivers. And the latest driver is going to be right up here. As you can see, I already have a tick mark, so I have the latest driver. But there should be an install button. All you want to do is click install and follow the instructions for it. If you guys don't have the GeForce Experience app, I, I will have a link in the description to the website so you can download it. But let's get on to the next step. Okay guys, for this next step is you want to go into your search bar and search percent app data percent. You want to open it up, click on app data up here. Then click on local, then look for Fortnite game, click on that, click on saved, config, windows client, and you should be met with these three files, or just this one user game settings. All you want to do is open up these user settings, scroll all the way down until you see the settings. They should start with SG and end with numbers. So as you can see, I have all of mine here at zero. You want to copy these settings and just make sure they're all at zero. You don't need to worry about view distance or resolution quality, but all you want to do is make sure all of the others from anti-analyzing to shading quality is zero, as this will greatly improve your FPS. Once you guys have done that, just click on file and save. Then you can exit out of that and close all of these windows. Okay guys, for this next step is you want to go back into your search bar and search power plan. This should open up, then click on it. Click on power options over here. Click on show additional plans and click on ultimate performance. If you guys don't have ultimate performance, you're going to want to copy these letters from the description and paste them in your CMD. So, once you have them copied, go to your search bar, type CMD, click on it, then click Ctrl V, which will paste this, and click Enter. If it says Ultimate Performance, you've done it right. Just close out of that, go back to Edit Power Plan, and ultimate performance should be right here. Once you guys have selected your ultimate performance, you can just close out of that. For this next step is you want to go onto your web browser and search Malwarebytes. Now click on the link which has www.malwarebytes.com, not these ads. As you'll see, it says add on the links that are obviously fake. So you just want to click on this one here, then Click on free download and it should download. Just click on the setup. It will ask you for administrator. Just click allow, then click install. This loading screen should pop up and it should load and install. Once it has installed, it should open up. Just click on scan and let the scan for any PUPs on your PC. If you guys don't know what a PUP is, let me explain. A PUP is a potentially unwanted program on your PC. These programs can use up storage and run in the background and make your PC perform slower and some of them can increase your ping by using up your Wi-Fi. As you guys see, I have zero threats as I do scan my PC quite often. But there should be a thing saying quarantine or delete, just click on that and close out of the software. Okay guys, this next step is you want to go back to your web browser and search CC Cleaner. Click on the website, scroll down until you see download, then it should install right here. Once it has installed, you just want to open it. It should ask for administrator, just allow it. Once it has installed, you just want to open it up. Then on health check, click next and click start health check. 
this will just scan your PC for any trackers and junk files and will delete them. This can reduce your ping and increase your PC's performance, thus getting you better FPS. If it asks you to close anything, just click yes. And as you guys can see, I have 5916 trackers and only 66 megabytes of junk. But all you want to do is click make it better and your PC will perform better. Once you guys have done that, we can get on to the last step. It's pretty simple. What you want to do, open up your search bar and search for settings. Open up settings, then search background apps. Once you open it, all of these things should be on. These will be running in the backgrounds and making your PC perform less, thus making you have less FPS. All you want to do is turn this from on to off and voila, easy FPS boost. But guys, I would like to say, if you had made it to the end of this video, I would like to thank you, as it really means a lot. But if I did help you out in today's video, please drop a like. And if I did boost your FPS, please consider subscribing. But I'll see you in the next one.